Jacques Élysée Recluse French Cle, the 15th of March 1830 to the 4th of July 1905 was a renowned French geographer writer and anarchist He produced his 19 volume masterwork La Nouvelle Géographie Universelle La Terre et les Hommes Universal Geography over a period of nearly 20 years 1875 to 1894 in 1892 he was awarded the Gold Medal of the Paris Geographical Society for this work, despite having been banished from France because of his political activism. Biography Recluse was born at saint foy le grande Gironde. He was the second son of a Protestant pastor and his wife. From the family of fourteen children, several brothers, including fellow geographers Anazim and Ali Recluse, went on to achieve renown either as men of letters, politicians or members of the learned professions. Recluse began his education in Rhenish Prussia, and continued higher studies at the Protestant College of Montauban. He completed his studies at University of Berlin, where he followed a long course of geography under Karl Ritter. Withdrawing from France due to the political events of December 1851, as a young man he spent the next six years 1852 to 1857 traveling and working in Great Britain, the United States, Central America, and Colombia. Arriving in Louisiana in 1853, Recluse worked for about two and a half years as a tutor to the children of Cousin Septim and Félicité Fortier at their plantation Félicité, located about 80 kilometers 50 miles upriver from New Orleans. He recounted his passage through the Mississippi River Delta and impressions of antebellum New Orleans and the state in Fragment d'une voyage à Louisiane, published in 1855. On his return to Paris, Recluse contributed to the Revue des Deux Mondes, the Tour du Monde, and other periodicals, a large number of articles embodying the results of his geographical work. Among other works of this period was the short book Histoire d'une Rousseau, in which he traced the development of a great river from source to mouth. During 1867 and 1868, he published La Terra, Description des Phénomènes de la vie du globe in two volumes. During the Siege of Paris 1870-1871, Recluse shared in the aerostatic operations conducted by Félix Nadar, and also served in the National Guard. As a member of the Association Nationale des Travailleurs, he published a hostile manifesto against the government of Versailles in support of the Paris Commune of 1871 in the Cri du Pupil. Continuing to serve in the National Guard, which was then in open revolt, Recluse was taken prisoner on 5 April. On 16 November he was sentenced to deportation for life. Because of intervention by supporters from England, the sentence was commuted in January 1872 to perpetual banishment from France. After a short visit to Italy, Recluse settled at Clarence, Switzerland, where he resumed his literary labours and produced Histoire d'une Montaigne, a companion to Histoire d'une Rousseau. There he wrote nearly the whole of his work, La Nouvelle Géographie Universelle, La Terre et les Hommes, an examination of every continent and country in terms of the effects that geographic features like rivers and mountains had on human populations, and vice versa. This compilation was profusely illustrated with maps, plans, and engravings. It was awarded the Gold Medal of the Paris Geographical Society in 1892. An English edition was published simultaneously, also in 19 volumes, the first four by translated E. G. Ravenstein, the rest by A. H. Keen. Recluse's writings were characterized by extreme accuracy and brilliant exposition, which gave them permanent literary and scientific value. According to Kirkpatrick Sale, his geographical work, thoroughly researched and unflinchingly scientific, laid out a picture of human nature interaction that we today would call bioregionalism. It showed, with more detail than anyone but a dedicated geographer could possibly absorb, how the ecology of a place determined the kinds of lives and livelihoods its denizens would have and thus how people could properly live in self-regarding and self-determined bioregions without the interference of large and centralized governments that always try to homogenize diverse geographical areas. In 1882, Recluse initiated the anti-marriage movement. In accordance with these beliefs and the practice of union libre, free unions, which was common among working class French in the mid to late 1800s, Recluse allowed his two daughters to marry their male partners without any civil or religious ceremonies, an action causing embarrassment to many of his well wishers. Recluse had himself entered a free union in 1872, after the death of his first wife. 
In 1882 he also wrote Unions Libres, a pamphlet which detailed his anarchist and feminist objections to marriage. The French government initiated prosecution from the High Court of Lyon, arrested him and Peter Kropotkin as the International Association's organizers, and sentenced the latter to five years' imprisonment. Recluse escaped punishment as he remained in Switzerland. Recluse had strong views on naturism and the benefits of nudity. He argued that living naked was more hygienic than wearing clothes, he believed that it was healthier for skin to be fully exposed to light and air so that it could resume its natural vitality and activity and become more flexible and firm at the same time. He also argued that from an aesthetic point of view, nudity was better, naked people were more beautiful. His principal objection to clothing was, however, a moral one, he felt that a fixation with clothing caused excessive focus on what was covered. In 1894, Recluse was appointed Chair of Comparative Geography at the University of Brussels, and moved with his family to Belgium. His brother Ali Recluse was at the university already, teaching religion. Élysée Recluse continued to write, contributing several important articles and essays to French, German and English scientific journals. He was awarded the 1894 Patron's Gold Medal of the Royal Geographical Society. In 1905, shortly before his death, Recluse completed L'Homme et la Terre, in which he rounded out his previous works by considering humanity's development relative to its geographical environment. Topic personal life Recluse married and had a family, including two daughters. He died at Torhout, near Bruges, Belgium. Topic legacy Recluse was admired by many prominent 19th-century thinkers, including Alfred Russell Wallace, George Perkins Marsh and Patrick Geddes, Henry Stephen Salt, and Octave Mirbeau. James Joyce was influenced by Recluse book La Civilisation et les Grands Fleuves Historiques. Recluse advocated nature conservation and opposed meat-eating and cruelty to animals. He was a vegetarian. As a result, his ideas are seen by some historians and writers as anticipating the modern social ecology and animal rights movements. Topic works Topic Books L'Homme et la Terre The Earth and Its Inhabitants, Six Volumes, L'Homme et la Terre 1905, e-text online, Internet Archive Élysée Recluse 1876-1894, A.H. Keen, ed., The Earth and Its Inhabitants, London, Virtue and Co., v.5 Russia in Europe, etc. Index v.6 Asiatic Russia Index Elisay Recluse 1890. The Earth and Its Inhabitants. D. Appleton and Company. Elysee Recluse 1883-1893, The Earth and Its Inhabitants, New York, D. Appleton, OCLC 6,631,001 Europe, V.1, V.2, V.3, V.4, V.5 North America, V.1, V.2, V.3 Africa, Vol. IV South and East Africa, 1890. The Earth and Its Inhabitants. The Universal Geography, ed., by E.G. Ravenstein A. H. Keen, J. S. Virtue, 1878. The Earth and Its Inhabitants, Asia, Volume 1, D. Appleton and Company, 1891. The Earth and Its Inhabitants, Asiatic Russia, Caucasia, Aralo Caspian Basin, Siberia, D. Appleton and Company, 1891. The Earth and Its Inhabitants, Southwestern Asia, D. Appleton and Company, 1891. Topic. Anthology Du sentiment de la nature dans les sociétés modernes et autres textes, Editions Premiers Pierres, 2002 ISBN 9782913534049 Articles The Progress of Mankind Contemporary Review, 1896. Attila de Girondo. Review Geography, 1898. A Great Globe. Geograph. Journal, 1898. L'Extreme Orient. Bulletin Antwerp Géographie Societier, 1898, a study of the political geography of the Far East and its possible changes. Elisée Recluse, 1867. La Guerre du Paraguay. Review des Dermondes, a report made for Parisian newspapers about the Paraguayan War, sympathetic towards the Paraguayan side. La Perse. 
Bulletin Societier Neuchatelois, 1899. La Fenice et les Phéniciens. Ibid, 1900. La Chine et la Diplomata Européenne. La Humanité Nouvelle Series, 1900. L'Ensemble de la Géographie. Institut Géographie de Bruxelles, No. 5, 1901. Topic. See also. Anarchism in France. Green anarchism. Topic. References. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain. Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Recluse, Jean-Jacques Ellisay. Encyclopædia Britannica. 22 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 957-958. Further reading External links Élysée Recluse, Research on Anarchism. Élysée Recluse. Anarchist Encyclopedia. Daily Bleed. Archived from the original on 9 December 2015 Élysée Recluse Entry at the Anarchy Archives Samuel Stevenson, Jacques Élysée Recluse the 15th of March 1830 to 4 July 1905. Reed College Ingeborg Landite and Geert Lernout, Joyce's Sources, Les Grands Fleuves Historiques Originally published in Joyce Studies, Annual 6, 1995, 99-138. Élysée Recluse. An Anarchist on Anarchy. 1884. Works by Élysée Recluse at Project Gutenberg. Works by or about Élysée Recluse at Internet Archive.